Hello, everybody. Today, I got some unexpected mail from Junk Wax Hero, one of our favorite channels on YouTube. Almost been exactly a year since I met Mike at the National. I remember thinking we had about the same amount of subscribers, 600 in there. Uh, check his count now. Uh, for real, uh, he works really hard, has great content. There's no reason he wouldn't be at whatever, I don't know, several thousand. Uh, releases content regularly and it's really awesome. Before we open the care package or whatever this is, it is clearly some kind of card. Um, you might have seen in the description, I intentionally bought a card in poor condition. Why would I do that? Because it's an ugly card. And if I bought it in nice condition, it would have cost me way more than I wanted. Uh, about two months ago, I decided to do a Brooks Robinson um, Tops player era run. And I have about yeah, maybe a third of them already. And I decided just to fill in naturally from oldest to newest. Obviously, I have the rookie. I show it about every third video. I don't have the 58. I didn't have the 58. And I haven't bought it because I don't like it. But I do want to be able to say that I finished the run. So, finally, a Brooks Robinson 58, ugly enough to purchase. There it is. $13 to my door. Big old chunk missing out of it. I'm convinced Tops, someone at Tops, hated Brooks Robinson, and that's why they picked this pitcher. And there's no greater juxtaposition between first and second cards in sports card history than the rookie year to this one. And now I can say I got it on to 59, which I do not have yet. So that's on the short list for the uh, vintage short list. Uh, here we go. We uh, make sure the address is covered up. Um, Mike did mention to me on his um, celebration live stream the day of the All-Star game. I'm already forgetting if that was like uh, X amount of years or X amount of subscribers. He did mention something was coming. So here it is. Here's something. And we'll do this together. There's kind of a note. There is a note. I'll read it. Here we go. I bought this with you in mind. I don't know anyone else who appreciates Harvey Haddix like you. No one does, that's why. That's why, because no one else does. I can't verify the authenticity of the autograph, but it seems good to me. Hope to see you at the National. I still haven't seen it, it's behind the letter. I can authenticate the autograph myself because I have seen enough. Unfortunately, I won't be at the National uh, aiming for next year, but just depends on life, just like everybody else, I guess. Okay, so here we go. It's the 61 uh, Tops Thrills. And there it is. Let me take a look. Yep, that is a legit Harvey Haddix autograph. I will add this to my collection, and who knows? We may see it behind in a, in a holder someday. Doesn't need to be. I can tell it's real. I know it's real. And I appreciate this. I really do. I love the community, of course, the card community. And I wouldn't be making videos with intentionally ugly cards and getting really cool gift cards as gifts if I didn't. That's it for today. Until next time, remember, we don't count subscribers. We count friends.